people couldn't figure out who we were because we didn't breach like the missions and we seemed pretty casual so they decided we were hippies and they gave us the name Hippies and the place Hippie Kitchen with um, Chief of Police Bratton bringing in safer cities. It has caused horrific pain for the people here on Skid Row. They are arrested for the most insignificant violations. They call them quality of life violations. You can't sit on the sit or stand. You're supposed to keep moving, and you can't sleep on the um, can't lay down uh, except between nine and six. Tickets are very expensive. Tickets for everything are expensive for a population who, if they're lucky, they're on general relief in the county, which is $220 a month. So they get a $117 ticket for jaywalking. They're not going to pay it, right? But it's going to go into Warren. That's in the computers. So they get stopped for something like um, littering or sitting down or some ordinary activity. Look in the computer, you've got a warrant, you're on your way to jail. And uh, tens of thousands of arrests have been made for these quality of life in the last two years. skyscraper to be that same person falling on their ass right down on the street. Selling crack. I was a crack dealer. She was a crack dealer and a crack smoker. And, and my ways just caught up to me. And it's a grace for God because he saved me from all that shit. Now I don't have that demon on me anymore. I don't have to worry about going out here buying some motherfucking dope. Skid Row has changed a great deal. All that down there, all this around here was crack city. They have cleaned this motherfucker up That's something decent. Cookie. And I'm grateful for that. Because one yeah. thing, you gotta That's understand, nice everybody wanna be able to walk down the street and feel safe. You don't wanna be That's walking nice down the street and you got motherfuckers staggering around with a motherfucking uh, a needle. Uh, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, you got like this lady walking by with her children. You got people sitting here hitting a motherfucking pipe. Fuck that. I ain't with it. You know, it's dirty and nasty and pissy. It's stinky down here, okay? No child should be walking around down here on no damn skid row. My mother wasn't a sorry woman like that. I didn't have to go or see anything like that. And I'm grateful. You know, but only the strong survive. That's real. And if you think you're strong, come here. Same people that work down here uh, got off crack or whatever they was doing. And they're only one step, one hit from being right back out there in that cardboard box. So don't get it twisted. And don't judge nobody. Only God can judge me. 15 years old, I became a mom. And I dropped out of school. Moved out on my own at 15, into my own apartment on AFDC, uh, with no education. And I uh, resorted to drug use. Uh, and at that point, like I said, I went into uh, Digital Geographics. Lost my children as a result of drug use. And, uh, came to LA, thinking if I changed locations, I would change my life. And, <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, I brought me with me. That I <laughs> People with mental illness come out and they're homeless. They're put out of institutions because of the funding, whatever, and they end up downtown Skid Row. There's only a few institutions down here that would, would take in, they can only take in so many, but it's more out there than they can uh, house. That's our primary focus. That, that's where we begin and where we end, is uh, helping, helping people come to Jesus. Jesus! This is the place where Jesus is. Kind of like they believe in their God, they pray, 
happens, a lot of church, you know. It's kind of good. Even as you told Thomas, bless you, Thomas, for you have seen and you have believed, but blessed are those who believe who have not seen. And so, God, those of us who have not seen, we just will believe anyway. For those of us who have not received, we just decide to believe you anyway. Supposedly this is an area of poverty, but when I look out the door, I don't see any poor people out there. These poor people are dressed in rags and are starving. When I look out the door here, I, I see a bunch of well-fed, uh, well-dressed uh, people running around uh, doing whatever they want to do instead of doing what they need to do. Uh, as, I, as I've said a number of times, uh, I don't really see a homeless problem around here. These aren't homeless people, they're vagabonds. And there's a difference. It, uh, a homeless person is out on the street because there, there's no place for them to go. A vagabond has chosen to stay on the street, to live the homeless life. You got motherfuckers in them third world countries that would love to have a bowl of fucking cream of wheat right now. We wouldn't even think about eating. So get off of that shit. Think about the motherfuckers that ate. That's over there. That don't have a motherfucking thing right now. So belly's hungry the motherfucker. And these over these fuckers over here crying about a motherfucking bowl of cereal or some shit. We're in a land where it takes more than 850 to survive. But they're not giving the job no more than 825. This constant restructuring of this city is going to be a model for every other city to have wasteland. And it is in those wastelands that you will find the poor soon to be incarcerated sooner or later to have to work for the state as a form of state slavery. Uh, shepherdism is what they call it. Be very aware. This is only the beginning of economic I hope that one day they could all get out of this life and find a job and go back to their families, you know, and be happy. It's not that they're drug addicts so much. It's not that they don't have a place to go. There's free, they can live for free, save money. There's housing for all of them, but they don't have to follow any rules and regulations if they move into one of the units. They can do all their drugs with their money if that's what they choose to do. And some just stay there and save up all their money and stay in the tent. Okay, there's a place for everybody on the streets out here. There's somewhere for them to stay. And it's affordable, okay? They have Section 8. If your income is zero out, uh, they'll pay your rent rent free. You have housing in the unit, in the uh, missions uh, where they can stay. You know, they don't have to stay out in the tent. And I would say over half of the population down here, they're, um, they're mental. They're more men mental. They're mental patients. They're not drug addicts. They're mental patients. Jesus.